Hello guys, in this video I am going to be showing you how to make self color rolls. This video is set into chapters so you can get the specific things you want to know without having to read comments. Anyway, to get started, what you want to do first is invite Color Chan. The link will be down below. It took me a bit to find a spot since there doesn't seem to be many bots, color bots that are just normal robots. Like Most of them were just bots that were reaction roles and that's not what I wanted. Anyway, once you've added this bot to your server, you want to do to start up everything you just want to do slash add default colors just like that when you do it it won't add the colors first first it will do this right here it will say the command is is vote locked to unlock it all you have to do is go there to this link and then you just got a vote it's pretty quick pretty simple um once you've added the the rows so the, the boy is, is relatively simple it's, it's quite easy to understand but first thing i like once you've done this and you've voted, you then want to move on to the color list. So here we go. So you want to do color list. This will show all the color rolls, obviously, and their numbers. Uh, the numbers will be explained later on, but they're pretty easy to understand. If you want to um, delete a color, you want to. All you have to do is. Slash delete color and then you can pick the name or the number so that's what the numbers are for it's for you to just get quick access so I'm going to delete silver so now silver has been deleted now if you want to I believe it won't be updated yet hold on let me check okay for delete for deleting roles it won't update but when you um change a name so if you were uh, Use the go to roles. Say I change the name of this. I'm gonna change it to just Y. And then I'm gonna make it that color. Done. So once you've done this, what's gonna happen is basically if it will hurry up and load, it's been a bit weird. Okay, there we go. So what's gonna happen is when you do slash color you'll notice that the list isn't updating so as you can see it's still the same the way that you fix this is very simple you just update it just like that and then you go back to color list and now you'll see that it's updated if you do decide to delete a role from here so if you delete it from here what will happen is once you delete that role it will still stay on here and you'll have to delete it normally, like how I did earlier, how I deleted the silver. You'll still have to do that either way. It doesn't matter what way you take it. But once you've done this, you can then, you know, once you've set it up, you've like set all your roles, you can, once you've changed the default roles, that's what I recommend doing. Keep them all and just change the colors to what you want them to be. But if you've already used all of them and you want to add more, you just do slash add. And you, you do a hex color you say the name of the role and then you do and then you do the hex code if you don't know how to do a hex code go on google just get a color picker pick the thing and then just copy and paste the hex code it will, it will be shown below most of the time but once you've done all of this you can create a normal embed for your channel and then just explain how to get the role pretty simple and then people can easily just do set color then they pick whatever colors you have available and then hold on you gotta do number then you do one and as you can see it will now set my color to that and people can swap between colors whenever they want they can do that whatever they want and then one last thing that you can do is slash channel this will set the channel so that it will set it so you can only do the commands in one channel so it, it makes your server much cleaner since people get redirected to commands every time they try and do it. So this is how I have it in my server. Just see in Staff Lounge, ignore that. But anyway, yeah, we have it right here. So this explains how to do things. Just like that, it tells you it only works in commands. And then it shows all of the colors that you have access to, just like that. 
So it took me a little bit to set up, but eventually I got it all covered. That's why I felt like making a quick tutorial on it, because maybe there are some people out there that are not sure whether they should use this bot or not. You know, you never know. <laughs> you, you never know it, honestly. But anyway, I'm going to work on some more Discord tutorials after this, because I just feel like it. it's not really too much of a hassle, you know. But if, there, if you guys need help with anything else or you want any more tutorials, my Discord will be down below. If you want to join that anyway, feel free to. But yeah, the Discord is down below and you can also just comment. I, I will, I'll read it, sure. But anyway, that's, that's probably it. Please like and subscribe. Be appreciated. Have a good day.